level, uh, there are some facts and figures, and I would just like to get some of those across so we can put Tweed into a, a state context. Koalas uh, have been listed as vulnerable to extinction in New South Wales since 1992. Now that is a ridiculous situation, but they have been at risk across New South Wales since 1992. The state government uh, has commissioned a report and the chief scientist of um, looking at state koalas as a way of protecting them. One of our problems though is that the chief scientist estimated that there were 36,000 koalas left in New South Wales. But as we know, there are several environment groups who are actually on the ground, including the Australian Koala Foundation, who are actually saying that the population is as low as 10,000 koalas across New South Wales. What the chief scientist has agreed is that we're seeing a 26% decline in the koala population over the past three koala generations. So that means in the last 15 to 21 years, and what they are agreeing is that if we don't take action, we'll see that same rate of decline over the next three generations. So this, as you all know, is an urgent situation. One of the biggest threats to koalas, and it's you know pretty obvious, is habitat, losing habitat. Koalas need healthy, safe, connected habitat. And this is what uh, we're obviously looking at in the Tweed, is how we ensure that koalas can survive here through protection of habitat. We're seeing across the state the destruction of habitat, and it is one of the biggest threats that koalas find. We're seeing it with the Pacific Highway upgrade on the north coast, coal, coal seam gas mining in the northwest, and urban expansion and housing development. I've been speaking with people across the state about their koala population and hearing some really horrendous stories in other communities who are also facing uh, this issue, including the Hawkesbury 